The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. It seems every year I get asked by a farmer, uh, why do I have more of this one weed showing up in my soybean field, my corn field? You know, I've had it in past years, but it's never been as bad as this year, is it? And ultimately we think about the weather. It must be something to do with the weather. Maybe it's colder than normal, drier than normal. It could actually be something as basic as the orientation by which you planted your corn, your soybean, your seal rose. Uh, I'm sitting here at the uh, Lower Research Station, University of Guelph, in front of a plot that Francois Tardif has, where he was inspired by some Australian research that looked at row width or row orientation of planting, where they found that certain uh, row orientations, east to west versus planting north to south, recruited different types of weed species. So what Francois has done is he's planted soybeans either from east to west, west to east, or north to south and has observed what kind of weeds show up in those two distinct uh, environments. And so right behind me is our east to west planting of soybean. And miraculously what we see in every east west uh, row planting is wild mustard. So you see here now it's, it's in pod stage before it was yellow and much more visual. And Francois has some aerial photos of that. But wherever we planted soybeans east to west or west to east, we had a boatload of wild mustard. But where we planted north-south, south to north, no wild mustard to speak of. There's a plot over there. There's not a single wild mustard. So anytime you see a species exploding in your field, yeah, it could be the weather. That's usually our normal default. It could be row planting orientation. And we'll ask Francois why that is. <laughs> 